So, um, I mean, these are really notes, uh, and uh, as you know, I work with Lubay Nahimid, but I don't work on Lubay Nahimid's work. So, it, for me, it was interesting to, you know, really focus on, focus on her practice. And um, although, I mean, as I say, it's it's not a, like an in-depth research, but it's it's notes. Um, so I sele I chose a um, series called uh, Kangas from the Lost Sample Book. Um, and the reason why I chose this um, work, work from this series is that when um, I started working with Lubaina in 2012, um, as part of the project Making History is Visible, I looked at um, our website and we have different um, bodies, bodies of works that are listed there. And there was this um, work um, on the website, which was very appealing to me for different reasons. Um, it attracted me because of the, the medium, uh, it's a collage. Um, and um, so it had a sort of a visual impact to me uh, uh, by way of ident identification. It's a black woman, it represents a black woman um, uh, with a, an, an iconic attribute, which is the Afro. Uh, which is, you know, which signifies the uh, black beauty, natural hair, pride, uh, and it really spoke to me in terms of a uh, discourse around black identity. Um, if you think of uh, the black power movement, I mean, these are all the ideas that came to my mind when I when I first looked at these images. Um, and in, the, uh, in addition to that, it had um, the red and blue colours um, of the Western flags, notably in the UK, the Union, Union Jack. Uh, and this, um, the collage that makes the, the, these patterns um, fragmented um, reminded me of Eddie, Eddie Chambers' The Destruction of the National Front. So I sort of, um, I mean, visually, you know, without researching the, the image, that's the, the first, um, first sort of uh, idea that, that came to my mind. But what I see here, here is um, the image, um, a, a sort of a political assertion, but from a, the perspective of a black woman, uh, which can also be tied to the you know, different forms of feminism. So I looked at, um, I, saw, I first saw this image online uh, on, the, on, you know, on the Making Histories Visible website. And, um, and it was part of the exhibition Global, uh, uh, Cotton Global Threads at the Whitworth in 2012. And I actually met Lubaina after this exhibition, I think. Um, but I haven't seen the show. I only saw this work uh, at the at Hollybush Gardens in, the, um, uh, I think it was in 2013, maybe 13, yeah. Um, and then the experience was different because of, because the image is paired with a with a painting, so one has a different sense of the image. It doesn't, you know, it's not just about this this collage, but now it becomes. It's about the relationship between the image and um, the collage and the painting. So how, do, how does one make sense of, um, of this image? Um, so um, while one has, uh, I mean, there are elements that I, one can draw from the collage, as I said, I mean, all these uh, um, elements of interpretation that I had when I saw the image, then looking at the painting was something different. It's, I mean, the image in a way is a sort of political, uh, but the painting has a sort of a, um, how can I say, uh, almost like re relaxing kind of, or soothing kind of, you know, uh, feeling, um, because there's a bed, obviously, uh, there's the work sleep, but there's uh, never sleep inside the invisible. Um, and I mean, it, with this, the series itself, there are two uh, sets of registers. There's, uh, or three actually, I should say. There's obviously the, um, the descriptive or the, the mimetic kind of element, which are uh, beds or other items uh, represented in the, in the sort of center part of the image or the, the main part of the image. There's the writing and there's the sort of decorative elements over there. So these are three registers uh, which to me um, convey or request for us or require for us to look at the work from an iconogra iconographical perspective. So, um, and so this uh, uh, demands that we um, investigate the, all the different elements uh, in the image, but we do that um, you know, by talking to the artist. So in a way, there are a lot of questions that I would have to 
have to ask Lubaina in terms of the inter interpreting the images. Uh, but you can, I mean, I started from my own perception of the, the image and for instance, this bed and the flower on the bed, um, when I was looking at it, makes me, in a way recalls uh, Georgia O'Keeffe um, kind of flower. So I don't know if that's, uh, if that's intentional, but that's, that's the way I, um, I sort of, uh, I'm interpreting the, the image. Uh, never sleep inside the invisible. Um, you know, this, this, um, this sentence uh, has to be, I mean, one would have to ask the artist uh, what she meant, you know, to understand the, the the sentence, and then in terms of these decorative elements, um, either they are plainly decorative motives or they are symbolic motives. So again, these are questions to be to be asked. So I looked at, um, I mean, these these images are from the show at Hollybush Garden. So I'm going to put a few of them. Again, a collage of a black woman and. Um, a painting or, or drawing, uh, don't forget me, with kind of lizards and circles, and and this uh, to the side is like a, almost like a, a samples of fabric or samples of you know of colors that could be maybe used for this uh, for this work. Another image, undo the knots of poverty, and again a collage, and so the knots could be referring to the, I mean could be signified by the, the, the leaves in the... Allow your friends to meet your enemies. And again, another college. So I looked at the, the history behind um, those, um, th this series. Um, and so I had to look, um, look a little bit in terms of uh, what, what was... Um, the work that was produced at the Whitworth in 2012. And um, there's um, in some documentation online about the exhibition where Lubena is explaining that uh, she uh, looked at the textile uh, collection at the Whitworth and examined the galleries, um, small group of 20th century East African kangas. Uh, so the kangas are in, from Swahili, um, which means uh, kanga, the, the verb means to wrap or to, or to close is a colorful garment similar to worn, similar, uh, is a colorful garment worn by women, occasionally by men, throughout the African Great Lakes region, so Kenya, Tanzania, and so forth. Um, it is a piece of printed cotton fabric, about one meter five by one meter, often with a border along all four sides, four sides. Uh, But all four sides, and um, called pindo in Swahili, so this, this is uh, the pindo, and the central part, mji, which, refers, um, which differs in design uh, uh, from the border. One of the longer edges of the mji features a strip which contains a message in Swahili, or less commonly in Arabic or Comorian. This message is called jina, literary, literary name of the kanga. Messages are often in the form of riddles of, or proverbs. So you can see here, um, I took this from um, a museum in Pasadena. Um, so these are just examples because uh, I couldn't find um, information on the Whitworth website, which is also um, one of the things to address in terms of how the artists are being documented, the artist works are being documented because they had this big exhibition during the 2012 uh, Olympics, and you w you would think that in terms of archive, you would find interpretation or interpretive material on the artists that have been exhibited, but um, there's no um, online uh, access to the collection at the Whitworth, so I had to sort of put some examples from another museum in the States. So these are some of the images, and uh, um, so they, there's a sentence in Swahili, and they put the translation in um, in English. Mother have no way to repay you except with my gratitude. It's no secret you are my one and only. So sort of love declaration. Where is goodness in this world? So I put, yeah, put that because um, it's interesting to, to as, I, I was, as I was saying earlier, 
the, the symbols or the, the, the elements that are in the central part of, the, of, the, of Lubena's paintings are either um, symbolical or they, you know, it's, it's only Lubena can say why she chose, you know, um, like here, um, a rooster. Uh, but it was interesting to see that there was a, so from my understanding, Lubena worked from her own collection of kangas and the collection from the Whitworth Museum. Um, so I think in terms of iconographical an, um, analysis, it would be interesting to know uh, what was taken from uh, or inspired uh, by the, um, the actual collection of kangas and what other elements are being introduced by Lubena um, as, a, as an artistic choice and um, with our own, um, putting our own meaning in, in, um, in the elements. The interesting thing as well in Lubena's wo work is that um, in the actual kangas, the, the border um, is, on the, is visible on the four, four edges. And uh, as an artistic um, decision there's, in Lubena's work, it's, um, you see just elements of the, there's a sort of selection that is um, affected by in, in Lubena's work. Interestingly, as well, in here, there's a. Um, I mean, this uh, rooster or the cock or whatever is uh, referring to. I mean, it's questioning goodness, and um, here it's referring to enemies. So there's a sort of a similarities in, in terms of the um, um, meaning of the the rooster. Don't turn into a fish bone and pierce me, or watch your mouth, and leave the state of unbelonging which knowing about Lubena's work and context, um, I think might refer to um, maybe our position as you know, black people or, or black practitioners, or, but living, you know, uh, for it's maybe it, um, an incitation for us to reclaim a form of identity, but not maybe an identity that is boxed within you know, a black identity, but maybe something that could go beyond that. So um, I put these images because the interesting thing is that Lubena was mentioning that um, she, when at the Whitworth, she was looking at material that is not being, um, that's sort of being neglected by the, the museum or something that is uh, almost lost. And I understand that the, the Kangas, the, the textile industries in, in Manchester, um, some of them gave the um, books, the motif, the pattern books to the museums, but other, um, you know, some other patterns were lost. Um, and so they are in the museum and they are in a way uh, sort of uh, the past, you know, they represent the past, they represent something that is not um, used anymore. And in a way Lubena is ex excavating it, uh, excavating all those patterns and, and get creating a new dialogue with, uh, with an audience that might be, you know, uh, sensitive to um, to those patterns, but also a younger audience, I think, with the with um, with the collage. But the interesting thing is that in in Tanzania, for instance, these are still um, patterns that are being used, and they're also um, used in in the fashion industry. So, f to me, what it shows is the idea that um, part of our cultures, um, when they are in museums, they're considered to be to represent the past. But in Africa, they are actually actual, you know, things that we, you know, that are part of uh, present, you know, on the continent. And um, to finish, um, the, I think, again, it's coming back to questions that I will probably have to ask Lubena at some point as I continue studying this work, is, um, um, you know, her, her work around collage, so I'm not going to talk so much about it, but uh, her work around collage and the, the patching and how it refers to her interest in textile. But, you know, the, the questions I would have is, uh, for Lubena is um, how, how do you, Lubena, choose what elements you use as, as um, you know, to, to, to create those patterns, you know, because um, choosing, for instance, this, um, uh, Flower, sun, not sunflower, this sunflower. Flower. Yeah. Flower. 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 Is it the sunflower? Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it's not. No. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I mean, the 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 patterns. The, I mean, the images 
um, chosen for the, you know, to be used as patterns, to be used as part of the collage, there's a, there's a deliberate choice in that, I think. So these are, in terms of interpretation, these are questions to be, uh, to be asked, but you know, what images do you use to create um, um, a pattern for the, you know, for the collage? And also all the images, um, all the women are black women, uh, and Lubena was explaining that she initially started working on the paintings and then created the, um, the, the collage and uh, as a way to sort of a, um, basically the collage represents the owner of the, of the, the kanga. So they are, uh, interestingly, they are smaller, sorry, smaller in, in scale which is also something that's interesting to look at, this, the scale between you know, the, the, the figure and, and the, the fabric. That, that's also a choice that has to be discussed you know, when you um, experience the work. And, and yeah, and some, some images, I mean, m most of the images, are, uh, I think um, at, the, at Holly Bush Gardens, it's, you see the face of a, of a woman, but this image is very particular because it feels as if um, um, a, there's a, a face of, of, a, of a black woman that's being applied to a sort of, I wonder if it's not a, a male character um, that sort of uh, almost looks like something that's from the 17th century or 18th century, but you, you see that there's a sort of a different um, time frame um, in this picture and maybe something that refers to uh, colonization or, you know, or, or Europe. Um, in a, in a setting or um, in a context where Europe is benefiting from, um, from uh, colonization and, and, and slavery. And I'll, I think I'll finish with that. Uh, yeah, so that's the image that's been paired with, uh, with the other one. Is forgiveness a cousin to freedom? So, I mean, again, this could be interpreted in, um, on different levels. Um, Freedom, is it, is it referring to slave, freedom from slavery, freedom uh, in contemporary times? But it's, you know, forgiveness and, and freedom, all these also convey the idea of the past and um, you know, the colonial history given that it's paired with this image. So these are some of the questions that I asked myself when looking at this work. <laughs>